Hey, this is Sai, and today I wanted to talk with you about how to overcome panic attacks or anxiety attacks or agoraphobia or generalized anxiety disorder. Um, and when I'm talking about all of these issues, I'm really talking about what is related to panic disorders or anxiety. Um, and I have personal experience with this, so I really think that I'm gonna be able to help you out here. And I have four steps that are simple and easy for you to overcome anxiety and panic attacks. So let's just look at what a panic attack is really. You feel this uncontrollable fear that overcomes you and you don't know what to do but it feels like maybe you're gonna die maybe you're gonna have a heart attack um, but what I've realized about panic attacks is they're related mostly to the fear aspect and it's about not being able to express yourself or about something inside of you that you're afraid of being exposed about you. So let's look at what agoraphobia it is. It's um, considered the fear of open spaces, but it's really about being in a space where you can't escape or that you can't escape easily without feelings of embarrassment. So here it is, the first step to overcoming anxiety or for resolving a panic attack is to love yourself unconditionally 100% because this is what is going to help you to express what you need to express and to overcome the fear. So this loving yourself unconditionally is really about seeing yourself for who you are, where you're at right now, knowing that you're okay, you're not strange or weird just because you have this feeling. In fact, many people mask these types of feelings with drugs and many of these feelings are also brought on by drugs. In fact, from my own experience, panic attacks were brought on in certain situations where I used marijuana because I used to use marijuana, I don't anymore. But um, I sometimes would go into a severe panic attack and what I realized it was about was self-expression. And so first, you have to accept yourself and love yourself unconditionally. So the next step is to practice being in the presence of others without feeling the need to speak. Take deep breaths and allow others to do the talking. So this is something that you can do if you are feeling a general kind of anxiety when you're in the company of other people, you might feel compelled to talk or that you have to be something specifically. And that's really what it's about because people have expectations of us and we expect ourselves to be what others expect us to be if we're a certain type of person. And um, that is something that you can overcome. And the first way to overcome that is to realize that you don't have to say anything, you don't have to be anything specifically, you just have to be yourself. And sometimes that just means that you need to take some deep breaths. And so if you're not having a panic attack, you're just having anxiety, then take deep breaths, feel and know that it's okay to be in the presence of others without having to say anything and just allow yourself to breathe. And step number three is, um, more for severe panic attacks is to express yourself freely and don't worry about what others think about it. And that all comes down to letting go of the fear and realizing that you might be able to overcome your panic attack if you are to speak and say what's on your mind. And that's what I realized in the panic attacks that I had when I was under the influence of marijuana is that I was feeling something and it was very strong and maybe somebody was talking and I was listening but I wasn't expressing that I was feeling this this feeling of overwhelming emotion or overwhelming fear and so as soon as I was able to express that I was feeling that 
it started to be relieved. And um, in addition, um, you might want to move out to where there's fresh air because fresh air in general um, can help to relieve those feelings of anxiety and just getting out of the situation that you're in. And I just want to go back to this whole getting out of the situation you're in. Um, you don't need to label yourself agoraphobic just because you don't because you want to escape. Sometimes you just don't want to be in a situation anymore and these labels that people put on them, they're diagnosis but they don't really re require medication to overcome. You basically just have to overcome them yourself by loving yourself unconditionally and letting go of fear. Realizing that you can feel the fear but that you can surrender and that you are going to be okay. So number four, the fourth step to overcoming um, anxiety or a panic attack is to realize that you're going to be okay and surrender to your emotion and allow the expression completely. And this might mean that you're going to cry out to God to help you if you need to. But whatever you do, you need to express what you need to express. And in a certain situation, you might feel like you need to lay on the ground. And when I say surrender, completely surrender your body. Don't tense your body. Let your body go because there's that feeling that you're going to have a heart attack. But if you hold and you try not to allow that feeling, it's going to make it worse. So if you tremble or shake, allow yourself to tremble or shake. Allow yourself to feel the feeling completely. And when you express yourself by asking God to help you, whether you believe like I do or not about God, this gives you the expression that you need to overcome. And when you surrender this expression, realizing that you feel helpless and that you need help, this is going to allow your body to relax. So let your body go, realize, and be okay with the fact that you could die. And when I say this, if you know what a panic attack is, you know you're not going to die from it. But if you are able to release yourself in the sense that you are able to cry out for help, this is going to help your body to relax and it'll help you to feel and express what you need to express in order to overcome this feeling. And what I found from doing this in the past is that not only did I overcome the feeling of anxiety or the panic, I actually went into a state of what I would consider bliss where I felt truly thankful and grateful and serene because I was able to express what I needed to express. And that goes the same if you're in the company of people and you're having a panic attack and somebody is speaking to you and you are normally a calm person who listens or, or just allows things to be as they are without really saying anything. If you need to say something, express it, say it, and don't worry about embarrassment because anybody who is truly your friend is going to understand, first of all, and they're going to feel closer to you for it. And other people who misunderstand, just tell them that they misunderstood. And you don't have to explain to them what it was. If you need to yell out, like, I don't know, whatever it is, like, ah! I'm just expressing something, like, maybe that's how you feel. And if you let that go in front of other people and they feel like that's weird or they ask you what's wrong, you know, maybe you'll get to laugh it off and, um, you can escape the embarrassment of feeling like something was wrong with you because it's not that there's something wrong with you. It's for whatever reason that you're having that panic attack is probably related to some kind of fear of expression or I would say mostly it's some kind of fear of expression, some kind of worry related to what other people might think about you um, or what people might think if you were to express some severe emotion such as panic in a public situation. And then after all of this is said and done, it's really about letting yourself to feel if you need to take some deep breaths, close your eyes, do this on a regular basis, breathe deep down into the core, 
all the way down to the base of your spine and into your feet even if it helps you to breathe all the way down and just relax and let your body to move if it moves let yourself to feel what you feel and see what it was that made you to have this fear that made you to have this panic and as you allow yourself to see what it is you're going to be able to overcome it and if you realize that it's a particular situation that you put yourself in like using marijuana and that gives you a panic attack then maybe you won't want to use it anymore or if you do next time you'll know what to do if that happens to you so i hope this helped and i would love to hear what you have to say please leave your comments whether they are something good or bad or whatever i want to hear whatever you have to say and please share your experience with panic attacks anxiety attacks or um, some type of anxiety disorder so i'll see you next time thanks for watching